everyone and welcome to our channel Clini Launch Knowledge Pod. Before we start today's video, I want all of you to answer me, what is a one-stop shop? So it is that one place where we get all we need. For example, from stationaries to groceries to things we need in daily life. Correct? So keeping this concept of one-stop shop in our mind, let us get into today's topic that is what is a clinical trial registry according to a recent global survey of over 3000 patients and caregivers the internet is the most used source of information to know about the trial but it can be very difficult to navigate through many online sources of information and to make sense of them on a practical level so there is a need for one tool that can be used by people involved in the trial to get all the information they are looking for and that is a clinical trial registry. A registry is used to store and collect information about a disease or a condition, a treatment or a medical device or even the experiences of patients living with the condition or a set of symptoms. The trial registry is essentially a public database that stores information about ongoing and planned clinical trials. They act as a central hub for transparency and accessibility in medical research. Different registries collect different types of data such as clinical lab results, scans or how a rare disease condition might, may change over time. Doctors and patients both contribute to data collection. Now that you know what a registry is, let's see why it is important. Registries make the clinical trial information readily available to the public, including the researchers, patients, healthcare providers, and policy makers. This transparency allows for scrutiny of research activities and prevent bias or reporting selective results. Registries provide accessibility. Patients can easily search the registries to find a trial that might be relevant to their condition. This empowers them to participate in the research and potentially gain access to new treatment options. Registries reduces resource waste. Researchers can use the registries to identify the existing trials and avoid duplicating efforts. By revealing the existing trials, registries help prevent researchers by starting a new trial that investigates the same question, thus reducing the resource waste. The important factor to consider is improved public trust. Open access to information about the trial builds trust in the research process and encourages public participation. Patient registries can help rare disease communities by providing valuable information to doctors and scientists to help develop treatment and to patient organizations to advocate for research and to support therapies that can change lives. These registries help in identifying candidates for trials, building connections among patients, support research goals, and to develop a standard of care for patients. Here are some examples of clinical trial registries. Clinicaltrial.gov This is a registry maintained by the US National Institute of Health listing all the clinical trials conducted in the US and around the world. The European Union Clinical Trials Register This is a database of clinical trials conducted within the European Union. World Health Organization Clinical Trial Registry Platform This is a global resource that provides access to information of registered trials from various countries. Overall, clinical trial registries play a vital role in promoting transparency, accessibility, and ethical conduct in clinical research. They empower patients, researchers, and public to make informed decisions about the healthcare and advancement in medical science. So, you tell me now, why anyone would want to participate in the registry? It's a chance to tell their story. It's a chance to participate in the community and contribute to the cure. Remember, alone we are rare and together we are strong. Thanks for watching and please comment below any of your one-stop shop experience and subscribe to our channel for more information on research industry.